Hello everyone. Welcome to Amasapti Fabcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to assign licenses to user and group in the Azure Active Directory using Azure Active Directory Admin Center. Many Azure Active Directory services require you to license each of your users or groups and associated members for that service. Only users with active licenses will be able to access and use the license Azure Active Directory services. Licenses are applied per tenant and do not transfer to other tenants. There are several license plans available for the Azure Active Directory including Azure Active Directory Free, Azure Active Directory Premium P1 and Azure Active Directory Premium P2. Keep in mind that not all Microsoft services are available in all locations. So before a license can be assigned to a group, you must specify the usage location for all the members. First, we need to access and log into the Azure Active Directory portal. You can access it using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. On home page, click on Azure Active Directory. We are using the user account with global administrator role to perform the steps in this video. And that you can verify here. Under basic information, we can see the license type of our Azure Active Directory is Azure Active Directory Premium P2. So we are using Azure Active Directory tenant with Azure Active Directory Premium P2 license. We can view our available service plans including the individual licenses, check pending expiration dates and view the number of available assignments from the license section. So let's first find out our service plan and plan details. Under manage, click on licenses. Let's click on all products under manage. Here we can see total, assigned, available and expiring soon numbers for your license plan. In our case, we can see we have Azure Active Directory Premium P2 Trial Subscription Plan with total 100 licenses and that we can verify here. All 100 licenses are available to assign. So we have total 100 license, assigned license is 0, available licenses are 100 and expiring soon is set to 0. So out of 100, all licenses are available to assign. Select a plan name to see its license uses and groups. Let's click on Azure Active Directory Premium P2 Plan. Till now, we haven't assigned license to any user or group in our Azure Active Directory tenant. We can add the licensing rights to users or to an entire group. On License Users page, we can see there are no users with licenses assigned for this product message. Check the same for License Group as well. So let's click on License Groups under General. We can see the same message here. There are no groups with licenses assigned for this product. First, we are going to assign a license to a user account. So let me click on License Users. Remember, right now we are on an Azure Active Directory Premium P2 license page. Let's click on this plus icon to assign a license to a user account. On the Assign License page, click on Add Users and Groups link. Search for and select the user you are assigning the license. I'll select a user Parita Boda. So let's search for Parita Boda. Let's select it and click on select. You can select multiple user accounts at the same time if you want. Under name, we can verify that Parita Boda is selected. Suppose if you want to remove any user, that time you simply need to click on this remove button. Now I'm going to click on next 
assignments options since this is a trial license i'll go with all available licenses azure act to directory premium p1 and p2 license as well as microsoft azure multi factor authentication and microsoft defender for cloud apps discovery make sure you have the appropriate license options turned on and then click on next review plus assign button under users and groups you can verify assign license to one user selected and assignment options is azure active directory premium p2 four out of four enabled let's select assign to assign license to our user parita porta let's click on assign button we can see the confirmation message licenses have been assigned to one user let's click on refresh to see the updated list under general on license user page we can see parita boda this is user's username state is active enable services four out of four and assignment paths is direct let's click on our user parita boda and here if you want to remove the user license you simply need to click on remove license to remove the license from the assigned user which is parita boda in our case i'm going to clear the checkbox in front of our user now let's try to assign a license to a group for that i'm going to click on license groups remember we are on azure active directory premium p2 license page now suppose if you are on a license page then you need to select your plan which is azure active directory premium p2 in my case next let's click on license group we can see the message there are no groups with license assigned to this product message let's click on this plus icon to assign license to our group let's click on add users and groups and search for the group In our case I'll select test group 1. We have one group named test group 1. Select make sure test group 1 is listed under name. Click next assignment options. Click next review plus assign button. Okay uh, under users and groups you can see assign license to no users. and group assign yet one group selected click on assign wait for the confirmation message and we can see the confirmation message license assignment has been scheduled for processing for one group uh, let's click on refresh to see the updated list okay and here we can see test group 1 is listed under license groups page but under state we can see changes pending so we need to wait little longer and after that the state will be changed so let me click on refresh okay still it is showing changes pending so i'm going to pause the video recording and once the state is changed then again i'll resume the recording after waiting for 30 seconds we can see the state is now changed to active Let's click on our group name which is test group 1. And here we can see license changes have been applied to all users from our group test group 1. License is Azure Active Directory Premium P2. Let's click on members tab. So we have total 3 members in our group test group 1 and we have assigned the license to our group test group 1 that means all these three users will get a active license as your active directory premium p2 indirectly let's click on licenses click on as your active directory premium p2 plan under license users now we can see we have total four users parita boda test user 1 test user 2 and test user 3 but in parita boda's case you can see assignment paths is direct why because we have directly assigned license to a user parita boda but for test user 1 test user 2 and test user 3 you can see assignment path is set to inherited inherited from test group 
since we have assigned the license to our group test group 1 and that's why for test user 1 test user 3 we are saying inherited assignment path to remove license from user select the checkbox in front of that user let's select the checkbox in front of paritha boda click on remove license on confirmation window click yes wait for the confirmation message one license assignment has been removed let's click on refresh to see the updated list and now you can see parita boda is not listed on license users page remember you cannot remove inherited license agreement from the users directly let me show you that let's try to remove license from test user 1 which was inherited license agreement let's select the checkbox in front of test user 1 click on remove license and here we can see one message that inherited license assignments cannot be removed from the user directly to remove their license you must remove them from their group or you can remove license from the entire group okay using the same steps we can remove license from group as well click on license group and select a group which is test group 1 click on remove license click on yes we get the confirmation message one license assignment has been removed close it let's click on refresh and there are no groups with license assigned for this product let's click on license users and let's click on refresh okay and as you can see right now there are no users with license assigned for this product message so the license for all three users test user 1 test user 2 and test user 3 has been removed successfully uh, again i'm going to click on assign uh, let's select uh, parita boda because uh, we needed license for the next video select next next and assign the license to a user parita boda perfect click on refresh okay so we have active license for user parita boda that concludes the video on how to assign or remove licenses to user and group in the azure active directory using azure active directory admin center thank you all for watching this video have a nice day